Welcome back. Our third and final breathing technique is Nadi Shodhana, or alternate nostril breathing. Alternate nostril breathing is the technique that I fall back on when I really, really need to pull myself out of anxiety or really need to focus. Because as you'll notice when we do the technique, closing off the nostrils as you breathe means you have to really concentrate on what you're doing, which kind of means there's no space in your brain left to worry about everything else that was just stressing you out, which is obviously very helpful. So, the technique. With your right hand, your forefinger and your middle finger are going to close down. So just your thumb and the end two fingers are still out. You're going to close off your left nostril and inhale through the right. And then block off the right nostril, exhale through the left. Then you're going to reverse that, inhaling through the left. Block it off, unblock the right, and exhale. And you just alternate through that, switching from side to side. So exhale, and then inhale, switch sides, exhale, and inhale, moving from each side as you move through the technique. So I will talk you through a couple of rounds now. And then you can just go off, practice it whenever you need to. So again, first two fingers down. Take a deep inhale. Exhale out, first of all. And then block off the left nostril. And inhale through the right. Block off the right. Unblock the left. And exhale. Inhale through the left. Block it off. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Lock it off. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Lock it off. And exhale through the right. And that's it. It's pretty simple, but it's really, really effective. The one thing I will say about it compared to the other two techniques is you might be less inclined to do it in public. <laughs> I don't know your life, maybe you're totally fine with it, but if you feel a little bit nervous, when a lot of my students tend to, go find a public bathroom, you can do it hiding in your car. Um, it's really helpful if before an interview or a test, I used to use it a lot in hospital, go lock myself in the toilet for a little bit, do a few rounds before I had to like meet doctors or have surgeries or procedures or things like that. So I hope you find it helpful. Again, like I've said all along, if you have any questions at all, just let me know and good luck.